Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Heiser, author of The 60 Second Scholar, a three-book series on Bible study, the Bible itself, how to get more out of your Bible, and, of course, biblical theology. Now, to pick up where we left off with our top 10 myths about Bible study, coming in at number nine, I would put the idea that Bible study depends on sustaining a particular method. Again, that is a myth. Bible study should not be looked upon as some sort of ritual event, even though I understand that routine helps us. We get up, we do this or do that. We have a time to spend in Scripture during each part of a day. I understand that. But oftentimes people sort of turn Bible study, which is really about a personal discipline to actually study and grapple with the text for the purpose of mastering content and achieving understanding. We take that discipline and we transform it negatively into some sort of ritual. And because it's a ritual, we sort of expect some sort of spiritual buzz outcome from it. That is not what I'm talking about. The whole idea that Bible study depends on some adherence to a specific method, again, with, with utter tenacity, really confuses the process of Bible study with comprehension. Okay, process is different than outcome. You can go through a process, you can program yourself, and it can become a ritual, but it doesn't guarantee comprehension at the end of the road. Sometimes you'll have to do different things. Sometimes you may want to vary your schedule. Sometimes you can't have a schedule. It doesn't matter. Bible study should happen at any time it can happen. Again, with a specific goal of mastering content and comprehension. Following steps, creating a ritual for yourself, does not produce understanding. We need to get that difference in our minds.